वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ नेटवर्क थियरी लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू एप्लीकेशन ऑफ लापलास ट्रांसफॉर्म इन नेटवर्क एनालिसिस सो देर आर मैनी एप्लीकेशन ऑफ लापलास ट्रांसफॉर्म बट हियर स्पेसिफिकली आई डिस्कस दोज एप्लीकेशन विच आर यूज इन नेटवर्क एनालिसिस सो सी वेन वी टॉक अबाउट इलेक्ट्रिकल और इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सर्किट then we can analyze many parameters by using laplace transform like we can have gain of the system gain of the system may be there in terms of voltage gain or it may be there in terms of current gain there may be analysis which is there based on transfer impedance there may be analysis which is there in terms of transfer admittance right so all these parameters that we can easily analyze by using laplace transform let me explain you that in more detail so here we are having two port network in which this is port 1 and this is port 2 at port 1 we are having voltage v1 and that is resulting current i1 which is going inside this two port network and over here at port 2 we are having voltage v2 and that is inserting current i2 inside this two port network right now as i have said that there are many parameters like voltage gain current gain transfer impedance transfer admittance that we can have by using laplace transform right so how to have this so see what i'll do is i'll be using i triple e standard notations so for voltage gain we use g and if i write 1 2 so what is the meaning of this see voltage gain is a ratio of voltage and 1 2 means 2 divided by 1 right so g 1 2 that is voltage gain right where output by input that is how it should be there but when it is written as per g12 at the time it should be v2 divided by v1 right so that is voltage gain similarly current gain that is notified as alpha if i write 1 2 then current gain is a ratio of current where 1 2 means 2 divided by 1 that is how it should be there right so output current divided by input current that you can say for current gain when we say transfer impedance so we use z right and you see z12 that i'm writing so z is what voltage by current ratio and when i say 12 so 2 over here and 1 over here right that is how it should be there numerator should have second digit and denominator should have first digit so that is output voltage divided by input current that is what transfer impedance now when i say transfer admittance let us write y 1 2 so admittance means what current divided by voltage and 1 2 means what i 2 divided by v 1 right that is how we can have all these parameters by using laplace transform so here what we do is we convert two port network in terms of laplace transform network and then we apply kvl kcl to identify voltage gain current gain transfer impedance transfer admittance in next few videos i'll give you two problems in which all these queries will get resolved that how we can solve all these parameters right now see there are many other applications which is there with laplace transform one we have already studied that is to analyze transient response we use laplace transform i have already made almost 20 videos based on laplace transform in which we have done transient analysis right so for transient analysis we use laplace transform now there are many other applications which is there with network theory like we can have transfer function of electrical network see transfer function that is also referred as voltage gain right so when you want to have transfer function 
at that time we use Laplace transform. So what will happen? You will be having location of poles and zeros and based on that you can identify stability of electrical system. So it is very essential to understand whether given electrical network is stable or not and to analyze that we need to have Laplace transform. So stability part and all those things that I have explained in control engineering right here I'll be explaining you how we can derive transfer function using electrical network. So for that also I have placed few examples here in my playlist of network theory right. See there are many other applications right I have just listed applications in with respect to network theory. There are many other applications like in machine learning we use Laplace transform to predict the data right as well as in data mining we use Laplace transform. So linear prediction can be done by using Laplace transform. Non-linear prediction is also possible by using Laplace transform right. In image processing we use Laplace transform. So there are many other branches of engineering which uses mathematics of Laplace transform to analyze different categories of engineering right. I hope you have understood this and whatever applications that I have listed over here for that I'll make sure I'll place at least 4 to 5 examples regarding each of these applications so that you can have clear idea about how to use Laplace transform in electrical network. Thank you so much for watching this video.